Hello to our community group leaders. This is our teaching series extra for Sunday, September 3rd, 2017. It is Labor Day weekend and Chris Matthews will be teaching this morning and he'll be finishing up our series on the Exodus. Now, really the Exodus is not just a story about the Israelites and their deliverance from slavery, although it is that. It's also the story of us, how we're delivered from the slavery of sin and we're on a journey. And if you like this theme, of life being a journey toward God, I would highly recommend a book uh, by John Bunyan called The Pilgrim's Progress. Outside of the Bible, it is my single favorite book in, uh, in existence. I, I love this work of literature. It's about Christian who leaves the city of destruction and he's off to the promised land. He's off to the heavenly city and he goes through um, the mire of despondency. He meets Mr. Worldly Wise, and it really is a good epic adventure of what it means to be a follower of Jesus and to experience the opportunity and the obstacles along the way. So let me recommend this spiritual practice uh, for, your, uh, for you personally and then for your community group as well. So many times I will end the day with this spiritual practice. It, it is being aware of the consolation and desolation of God. Now let me ex explain that. There are some times during the day where you really sense God's presence. And so theologians have called that the consolation of God. God consoles us with his presence. And then there are those moments of the day that, that we feel like God isn't there, the desolation of God. So it's not that God is present sometimes and not at others. He is present all of the time, the issue is our awareness. And so if I'm in the middle of a, of a hectic meeting, you know, and, and a lot of difficult things are being discussed, can I sense God's presence even in that moment? If so, I'm experiencing His consolation. Or am I a million miles away from God? If so, then I'm experiencing that desolation, uh, that distance from God. Again, He is there, it's just my awareness of Him that has changed. So to practice this at the end of the day, to review the day and say, what are those times that I really sensed God's presence? What are those times that, that I was forgetful of God? With the idea of tomorrow, I want to sense His presence more and more until I am living all of life practicing the presence of God, as Brother Lawrence would say. So I hope you've enjoyed this teaching series on the Exodus. Just as a preview, uh, next Sunday, uh, second Sunday in September, we're going to begin a teaching series called How to Be a Hypocrite from Matthew, in part of Matthew 22, beginning of Matthew 23, where Jesus talks to the Pharisees about hypocrisy is so much of who you are, you need to change. And the Pharisees were the religious conservatives of their day. And so as Christians today, we need to listen to that. And so it's a little bit, um, you know, I really don't want you to be hypocrites, but how to be a hypocrite will help us understand how not to be a hypocrite. May the Lord bless you this week. And it's always great to serve alongside you. God bless you.